if you are using SUSE's version of GNU Plus Linux, you may have some non-free software installed on your machine, and you may not even have been told it was non-free. Now, I haven't seen what their current version is like. My experience is from about six years ago. What happened was I was visiting Europe and the disk of my laptop died. So I got another disk and then I had to install a system on it. I was visiting somebody who only had a CD of SUSE. So we started installing it and it asked me about lots of packages and some of them seemed interesting. So I said, yes, install them. And I was thinking these were all free software because this was a GNU slash Linux distribution. And then I saw Sun's Java platform being offered to me. Now that I happened to know was not free software. So I said no to it. And then I thought, uh oh, what about those other things I just said yes to, which I, they sounded nice. I don't know anything about them. I assumed they were free software, but now I know that might not be true. Have I got non-free software on my computer? That's unethical. My principles say I shouldn't have a copy of this program if it isn't free software. So what was I going to do? The only way I could have figured out if they were free software was to go look at the source code and check the licenses myself, which was a lot of work. So a couple of days later, I found someone who had a copy of Debian's GNU, Debian GNU slash Linux distribution, and I erased SUSE and installed that instead. Because that way, I knew that although Debian inc Debian's site includes non-free software, they have carefully separated the free from the non-free. So I knew that by saying don't include any of the things in the non-free category that I really would get all free software. Now, after that, I criticized SUSE, and they said they were going to do something to help people install purely free software if they wanted to. I don't know whether they actually did or what they actually did. You could go take a look. The point is that with a, a, a lot of distributions of GNU slash Linux, they don't even point out to you that some of the programs on that CD are not free. So even if you wanted to install free software exclusively, it would be hard for you to do it with some of those distributions. And until this year, we didn't know of any distribution we could recommend since several years ago. Well, now there is one. It's called Ututo A. It's developed in Argentina. And it's spelled U-T-U-T-O dash E. So if you get Ututo A, then you can be sure you're only going to get free software.